Hello everyone, this is Anna and I'm going to teach you American English 5.3, lesson 4b. The topic of this lesson is modern manners. Modern manners, manners means attitude, your behaviors, and that's uh, going to be modern. You know what modern is. Modern in Persian also we call modern, modern, okay? Modern or uh, not traditional. The first part of this lesson is vocabulary and speaking, and then we're going to move on to grammar part uh, that is called uh, Debwit's Guide to Cell Phone Etiquette. And then we're going to go to pronunciation and speaking. And the last part of this lesson is uh, finishing with pronunciation. Okay, and let's get started. Modern manners, as I told you before, modern means not traditional, and uh, vocabulary and speaking is related to phone language. So the things that you can use while you are talking on the phone. When somebody calls you, you um, must know how to answer them in different ways. So for example, sometimes you need to uh, text someone, sometimes you need to uh, call someone, sometimes you cannot talk to that person you don't find that person that person is not uh, there so you need to leave a message okay and there you go uh, he is dialing a number. Dialing means what? Means uh, sometimes you are uh, going to talk to someone. So the number of that uh, person is one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so you press one, two, three, four, and five. So you are dialing a number. Did you understand what I'm saying? Dialing a number. I repeat it after me. Dial. We don't call it dial or dial. Mm -hmm. Dial, dialing a number. She's texting or messaging a friend. Here there is um, texting and also uh, messaging. There are two synonyms here, like texting and messaging. Both can be fine for um, texting someone. So you don't say, I text a message. It's completely wrong. Uh, the way that you're using this word is text someone or message someone. Both of them are as a verb. Okay. And next is hung up. Hung up is past form of hang. Mm -hmm. Hang or hung is past form of that. Hung up. You are doing what? Uh, you don't want to talk to that person or you end or finish your speaking and then or conversation and then you hang up. Okay, so you call it off. And then she is choosing a new ringtone. You know what ringtone is. Ringtone, the sound of your phone. Somebody calls you and the sound of your phone is a ringtone. He's calling back. You call someone and that person calls you back uh, the day after that day. Mm -hmm. So that person calls you back. You pay someone, that person pay you back. Mm -hmm. Okay, Le uh, left the message. And as I told you before, the present form of left is what? Let me highlight this one. Okay, left. The present form of that is leave. Yeah, so if she leave a message, she leaves a message or she left a message on his voicemail. Voicemail. The line is busy. The line is busy. You cannot, uh, you are dialing a number and that uh, phone doesn't ring because that person is busy. He, she or he is talking on the phone. Somebody's on the line and the line is busy. Let me, uh, right now, let me play the audio for you to write the correct number for each squares. Okay. And listen. Goodbye. Three. Four. Please leave a message after the tone. Hi, Jack. It's Sandra. I was just calling to confirm that.
five. Six. Hello? Oh, hi. It's James. I called half an hour ago, but Anne wasn't there. Is she there now? Seven. Okay, and uh, the key, uh, the answer key are uh, like number one is part D, number two C, three G, four F, five A, and six E, and seven B again. Did you write them correctly? Can you explain what these are? There are some vocabularies related to uh, some for example, messaging or some platforms. And right now, I want you to think about all these words in English. Whenever I say Skype, try to define this word in English. Like, what is a Skype? You know what a Skype is? So, in my opinion, or from my point of view, Skype is a kind of platform or software that can be used to make call, cell, uh, for example, telephone calls or video calls over the internet. Mm -hmm. So this is my explanation about Skype. What is a screensaver? So a screensaver uh, let me think about screensaver on a computer, a program which protects the screen by automatically producing a moving image if the computer has not been used for a few minutes. All right. And now silent or vibrate mode. Let me show you the answer key here. Silent or vibrate mode is the mode on the cell phone that makes it move from side to side very quickly and with a small movements. I want all of you guys to uh, make your own sentences. Don't tr uh, try not to repeat or um, imitate or um, memorize all these sentences. You must say your word on your own. You must make your sentences or paragraph on your own. Uh, because it can be uh, more logical and makes sense. Quiet zone. What is quiet zone? Is are places where you aren't allowed to use a cell phone. You don't have to talk on the cell phone like in the hospital or on the train or no, somewhere like that. Instant messaging is a system on the internet that allows people to exchange written message with each other very quickly. Like I am. Mm -hmm. instant message i am all right and now that part you and your phone what brand is your phone how long have you had it these are some questions you can answer them yourself what would you like to get a new why and what ringtone do you have or what do you use your phone for where and when do you usually turn off your cell phone and have you ever lost your phone sent a message to the wrong person uh, okay try to make a sentence or make a paragraph about this one because it can be very important in IELTS exam if you're going to take an IELTS exam it can be re a kind of repeating question it, it is um, asked um, by your interviewer uh, and uh, you must answer them all right and now let's go to the second part of this part Grammar. Grammar is a models of application like must, have to, and should. Okay, we don't call it have to. Mm -hmm. Have to. Have to. Um, must here. And have to. And should. Okay. Let me go to page 139. Okay. 139 is the explanation of this grammar have to must and should have to or must are the same in affirmative form i mean when you are using have to or must in positive form sentences the meaning of them are the same both of them mean obligation mm -hmm. something is obligation you are going to go to the museum so without a ticket you you are not allowed 
you are not allowed to enter that museum. So what you say, I have to pay for the ticket or I must pay for the ticket. Have to and must are usually used to talk about obligation or something that is necessary to do. Have to is a normal verb and it exists in all tenses and forms, also a gerund and infinitive. Must is a modal verb, it only exists in the present, but it can be used to with a future meaning. You can use all uh, you can also use have to or must for a strong recommendation. So uh, that's exactly what I talked. Um for future i cannot use must i will must is wrong i will have to mm -hmm. don't forget it so i will have to have to and must have a very similar meaning and you can usually use either form پس میگه هر دو تاشون یکی هم میتونید جفتش رو استفاده بکنید have to is more common for general external obligations for example rules and laws by the قانون must is more common for a specific like on one occasion or personal obligation compare I have to wear a shirt and tie at work means it is a rule in the company I must buy a new shirt sometimes uh, okay so your shirt is too old so you you must buy a new shirt okay did you understand the difference a very tiny difference between them have got to have got to is often used instead of have to so in the spoken form so i've gotta go like i've got to go now i gotta go gotta means got to okay and on the right side there is don't have to don't have to is different completely different with must not majbunisti naboyad the meaning of the persian form that is majbunisti naboyad as majbunisi don't have to, naboyat, must not. You know what's the difference? The distinction between these two um, models, uh, like we don't, we use don't have to when there is no obligation to do something and must not when something is prohibited. Don't have to and must not are completely different. As common, I'm not compare. You don't have to drive. Majbunisi drive the gibukoni. We can make it. We can take a train. You must not drive along the street. To naboyat inja beruni. Chera chunki masam ke qanun inja nabat beruni. You can often use can't or not allowed to instead of uh, allowed to instead of must not. You must not or can't or not allowed to park here. You are not allowed to park here. You are, you can't park here. You must not park here. All of them are the same. Should shouldn't. You should take warm clothes with you to uh, Quito. Okay. Should means better. Okay. When you go to doctor, when you visit the doctor, go to the office, uh, the doctor prescribed you. Uh, uh, so, for example, they say uh, you must. Uh, or you should take a tablet. Mm -hmm. This is not obligation. You can uh, follow the rule or you cannot follow the rule. So should is not as strong as as strong as must and have to. We use it to give advice or an opinion to say if we think something is uh, the right or wrong thing to do. Should is a modal verb. The only forms are should and shouldn't. So negative and positive. If you understood this grammar you can do this exercise so pause the video and do it all right and on the right pause the video and do this part so the answer key are here page 39 again so uh do you agree with what Deborah says here Number one, two, and three, and four are related to the reading. First of all, let's find answer key, and then we are going to uh, the grammar reading part of this grammar. Do you agree? I am offering with Debris says. And do you ever do any of these things? Are they a problem where you live? And uh, are there any other things people do with their phones that annoy you? Uh, there is a well-known publisher, uh, publisher, 
has been producing guides on how people should behave since the 90s. Uh, including the breeds etiquette and modern manners and English gentlemen. Nowadays, it still offer advice on what to do in social situations. So what to do or what not to do in social situations is really important. And then we call them etiquette. Uh, you are around the table, over the table, you are um, um, in the bus, you are in the taxi, you are on the train, so you must know how to behave. So we call them etiquette. Cell phone etiquette. Think what your ringtone says about you. If you are something sometimes embarrassed by your ringtone, it is almost certainly that wrong, the wrong one, and you should change it. Embarrassed. When in doubt, use silent or vibrate mode. Silent It may surprise your companions. When you suddenly answer an invisible silent phone, but at least they won't have to listen to your uh, ringtone. Okay, companion here, let me highlight this one. Okay, as a noun, companion, someone you spend a lot of time with, especially a friend. Uh, answer an invisible silent phone, but at least they won't have to listen to your ringtone. Take notice of uh, who is around you. Take notice. Make sure your conversation is not disturbing. Disturbing. What is disturb? When, when, whenever you are, uh, for example, disturbing someone, you are upsetting someone. When you disturb someone, you interrupt someone. So uh, imagine you are entering a place, entering an office without permission. So you must say sorry to disturb you because you are not allowed there. You are not allowed to go there. So sorry to disturb you is very common. Intimate conversations are never appropriate in front of others. For example, you are saying something personal. Yeah, it, it is not good to talk about your personal life in front of other people. So intimate conversation. Respect quiet zone. Respect quiet zone. You must not use your phone in quiet zone on trains or hotels. That is the reason why they exist. Never shout. Your phone is not a megaphone. Telephone is in business, bulangunis. You don't have to shout. You don't shout because you think re uh, reception is poor. Reception means antenna. In Persian, we call it antenna. Reception is poor. It won't make any difference. People with you deserve more attention than those at the end of the phone. آدمایی که کنارتون هستن به نظر من خیلی مهمترن که از آدم هایی که پشت تلفنن پس حق دارن که بیشتر توجه شما رو جذب کنن wherever possible turn off your phone in social situation and at meal time or put it on vibrate if you have to keep your phone on because you are expecting an important call apologize in advance in advance means before beforehand don't continue on with phone conversations when you are in the middle of something else. This is especially true if they are if you are in banks, stores, and etc. It is insulting. Insulting. What is insult? Okay, let me highlight it first. All right. Insult as a verb means to offend someone by saying or doing something they think is rude. Insult to Not to give the people who are serving you your full attention. Think about where you are calling from. Don't make or receive calls in an inappropriate places. Put your phone on vibrate in meeting, movies, and etc. If you must take a call, 
in the car, use a hands-free set. پس hands-free استفاده بکنید. Match the highlighted phrases with their meanings. Two of the phrases match same meaning. Okay. And part A, you don't need to do this. It is, it is a necessary. Part A is you don't have to shout. Part B, you must not use your cell phone. So don't do this. It isn't allowed or permitted. Part C, it is necessary to or required to do this. Part C is you must take a call. It's a good idea to do this. Part D, you should change it. All right. And on the right, there is pronunciation and speaking. Uh, so the thing that I'm going to tell you is related to pronunciation, the silent consonant and linkings. Like the first word is should, L is not pronounced. So L is silent. And so you say you pronounce it should, not should. So talk again, L is in silent word. So talk. Wrong, W is silent. Listen, T silent, half L is silent, dishonest, so honest, H is silent, knowledge, K is silent, we don't say it, K knowledge. So design, design, G silent, whole, uh, again, mm, W silent, rhythm, rhythm, H is silent, and doubt, B silent, foreign, again, G silent, come, L is silent, island, S is silent. And next is linking words like turn off. We don't call it turn off. Turn off. So phone on a plane. Phone on it. Phone on it. On a plane. On a plane. So should only. Should only. Him and an. Him and an emergency. Him and an. Okay. So we connect them fast. We pronounce them faster. Leave at 11. Not open other. People's email. People's email. Shouldn't talk, shouldn't talk. On it, on it. So let's read them uh, faster. You must turn off your phone on a plane. Repeat. You should only call him in an emergency. We have to live at 11. You must not open other people's email. You shouldn't talk loudly on a cell phone. Okay, and there you go. Again, there are some uh, phrases here. Turn off your phone in uh, theater so you can talk about your opinion. And uh, as a speaking part, uh, it's on your own. And you can sometimes you can record your voice and or listen to your voice repeatedly over and over to check and correct yourself. All right. And then make yourself ready for the next session. And uh, if you have qu any question, you can write a comment for me. And bye bye. <music>